Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to the next hobby update for English Civil War. Uh, not much done this week, painting-wise. Um, I've been busy with work and uh, the the joys of raising two young boys uh, certainly takes up a lot of time. that would be better spent painting, <laughs> but there you go. Um, so I worked out what I'm going to do with Prince Rupert, uh, and I'll make him quite a large commander. Think of the force as befits his status. So I'm going to put him on this base. I think this is a hundred and hundred and fifty by ninety uh, MDF base, uh, and I've just sprayed uh, Rupert Black, and I'm thinking of putting him slightly here, just off center, and then I got some sprues online of uh, English Civil War cavalry, and I'm going to have two cavalry men following him, and then of course at the front as well. I'll have boy, dog running around, and then uh, I thought that looked quite effective, but I didn't like this sort of uh, this dead space that was going on back here. You know, bear in mind this is, they're going to have a narrower frontage because uh, they won't be on these um, these bottle caps that I used to to hold them while I'm painting. So uh, on the English Civil War uh, infantry spree, uh, which I'll show you now. Uh, this one, as you can see, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 models on it. Um, but up here, there's only four pikes. So every time you build a, a sprue, you've got one of these three bodies left over. And I've built uh, quite a few of these sprues now, so I had some of these bodies left over that just didn't have arms or anything. So I thought... I'll gather up my other spares, my English Civil War spares from command sprees and things, and I've made two. Uh, my swords just come off. I have to glue that back on. I've made two uh, officers. If it'll focus on them. Probably the black's not the best. There we go. So this is a guy with a halberd, um, and he just looks like he's shouting orders and stuff. Um, he was pretty easy to put together, but this guy I'm quite proud of. Uh, he's a combination of a few different kits. Um, his arm with the sword was a a drummer's arm, and it originally had a uh, the drumstick on it. So I cut off the drumstick and then carefully um, took one of the swords and cut off the handle, and then stuck that on there. And give him a pistol, so he looks he's uh, sort of at, an, at the ready pose. Um, so I really like him as if he's about to receive a charge. Uh, so we'll have these two, um, maybe facing a different direction, fighting their own battle. Is Prince Rupert and his uh, cavalry, the dog, right past. Uh, so that's the plan for that, and uh, get the muskets uh, done. And add Ripper to the force, and that'll be fine. Uh, painting wise, this week I did do some things, and uh, this is where I start to go a bit crazy again because uh, I painted two stands of landware Napoleonics. Um, these are Warlord Games models, these are old Warlord Games models from uh, oh. It must be four years ago, I think, I bought these. Uh, and at the time, Warlord Games were doing one of their uh, sprue seals. And I think these were something... The price was ridiculous. I think it was 75p for a sprue. And uh, I think I bought, like, £10 worth of sprues, which was something like, what, that would be 12 sprues? There was a lot. There was a lot of stuff. Um, and then I bought a command uh, just off eBay. I think it was only about two or three pounds. So I did get a lot of landware for very little. Uh, but I never actually painted them or did anything. Uh, went out of historicals for a while as the hobby ebbs and flows. But um, got a bit fed up painting sort of uh, blue coats and stuff. So bizarrely thought that Napoleonics would be a, uh, a change of pace. And it was. It, it was quite... Uh, Quite refreshing to put them together. Um, so this is a flag from uh, GMB Designs. All Warlord Games figures. And uh, really pleased with how they turned out. Nothing too special with them. Just sort of blocking in the colours. Give them a wash. And then... Uh, my focus has gone terrible tonight. Whatever is wrong. Hang on. There we go. Um, 
So yeah, nothing too sort of crazy with them. Pleased with how they turned out. And uh, yeah, they'll look pretty good on the battle fiddle as well. So that's 12 done. And I have another 12 to be painted. And then I did find in my bits box to lead to this battalion a mounted officer. So I just sprayed him as well to touch up a little bit. I've got him and then two uh, soldiers will be marching past and that'll just be on a little 60mm round base and uh, yeah that'll just be a little another Napoleonic unit done. I think Napoleonic units are uh, are sort of their their lengths aren't they you have to take them and <laughs> you just once you start uh, once you start a regiment I don't think you can stop you just have to keep going at it. Uh, so that's the painting so far so hopefully uh, the next update the muskets should be finished for English Civil War and uh, hopefully I have this unit finished as well so um, hope everyone else's hobbies are going well uh, happy wargaming everyone